All right, guys, we're doing Beethoven's first piano sonata today, opus two, number one, in F minor. And let's hear a little bit of it. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my sight reading lessons on SeanCheek.com. <clears throat> and we're going to start here with this great first sonata. I think Beethoven was about 14 years old when he wrote this, as memory serves. And <clears throat> just a great piece of music. We're going to do the whole sonata, not just the first movement. But uh, let's begin here. <clears throat> I'm going to assume you can read music, okay? If you haven't done my 132 sight reading lessons for beginners, uh, it takes you from beginner to intermediate, <clears throat> on my website, seancheek.com. You can download PDF to learn how to read music and sight read well. And I also have some hymns on there that you can sight read. Those are great for sight reading. And then when you're ready for this kind of a thing, you can start it. Okay, some of you may already have had some piano and can, can read music. So I'm going to make that assumption that you can read music already, okay? We're going to have four flats. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. And we're in the key of F minor, okay? So every letter that is a B, E, A, or D, we're going to flat it automatically. Or if we do the natural minor. So we'll, we'll flat the A's and the B's and the D's and the E's automatically, okay? And we're, we're in cut time, which means <clears throat> it's going to move along a little quicker than you would in 4-4 time. All right, I'm just going to count it in four for the ease of the lesson here, okay? Uh, and we start with a pickup note, so I'm just going to count it in four so we can go slow. So count four would be C, and then we're going to go up to F with our two finger. So C with the thumb, F with the two finger. Now, if you're practicing this, you should be trying this first uh, by yourself and then watch me and see if you got the notes right, okay? C, F, then we're going to go to A flat with our third finger. We're going to have a little staccato, the little dots under the notes and on top tell us to put separation, space, silence in between those notes. So we kind of snatch them and get off of them. And then we're going to come under with our thumb and do a C right here, and then we're going to go up to an F with the two finger. So it's... And then we're going to go bum, ba -da -da -dum. okay? So the A flat's going to be the fourth finger, one and two. Now the and of two gets this 16th note, note triplet. I'm not going to go into depth on the counting of this because I'm assuming you're uh, you know, up to this level. And to the and of two gets the 16th note triplet. So it's G, F, E natural. Now E would have been flatted, but it's not because of the natural, the accidental. So G, F, E quickly with three, two, one, and then to the F. Okay, so if we go with the right hand from the beginning, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. So right there it's one, two, and three, four. And we staccato the F there, one, two, and three, four. And count four as a rest for the right hand. Let's take a look at the left hand. It doesn't come in until the second measure here. This is not the first measure. This is a pickup note. So the first measure you start counting here, okay? Four counts of rest. And then here we're going to come in with an F minor chord in root position. So F, A flat, C. So you come in on count two, one, two, so you don't play on count one, you play on count two in between there, and you're going to play that F minor triad two more times. The first time is with the F, and then it plays all by itself. Alright, so we start here and go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four. Okay? One more time. Let's try the next phrase here. And I'll have to uh, use uh, scroll over for you, but let's take a look. <clears throat> In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. You can download this PDF, for this public domain music, on seancheek.com. All right, so G is a, we'll use our thumb, our one finger, and then C with a two. And I'm going to come under with my thumb for E natural. It would have been flat, but it's E natural because we're doing the five chord in the key of F minor. F minor is the one chord. C is the major five chord. So E natural, and then G with a two, and then uh, the last measure of this line, B flat, <clears throat> with a four, one and two and three, four. So one and two, the and of two is the 16th note triplet. And then a flat G F G with three two one three two one two one and two and three four. All right, left hands on a uh, C dominant seventh chord, so E natural on the bottom, G B flat, 
and C are our four notes there. You can use 5, 3, 2, 1, or 5, 4, 2, 1, whatever you like. Alright, but you play it in the gap. You go 1, 2, and 3. So let's try these two measures. And go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, and 3, 4. Now, you don't have to use the fingering uh, that's written there. You don't have to use my fingering. You can just use those as a guide and see what works best for you. Well, let's try the whole system now. Okay, from the beginning and go. Okay, so see, I didn't use the fingering exactly, but uh, it still worked for me. Okay, so the rest of this, the whole sonata, uh, will be on SeanCheek.com. I'm, I'm doing the first movement today, and then the other movements of the sonata will also be on there as well. So lots of good stuff for you guys to practice. Just remember, if this is above your level, you need to try my other sight reading lessons on the site first. Try some of the hymn lessons. Those are great for sight reading. Talk to you guys later.